it's actually given, I think, both of us purpose in life that may be lacking, that we both thoroughly enjoy what we do, despite the fact that we do work at it seven days a week. It gives you a feeling of fulfillment to know that you are making a difference in, in helping these animals. Welcome wonderful viewers to Animal World, our co-inhabitants. Today we'll visit Britain's Jill and John Daly, co-founders of the Soy Dog Foundation, a non-profit charitable group that improves the lives of homeless, neglected and abused dogs and cats on the island of Phuket, Thailand. The word soy in Thai means side street or alley. Besides operating a nearly two hectare facility with a shelter and animal hospital, the foundation actively works to reduce the birth of kittens and puppies that would end up homeless through its spay and neuter program. We came out uh, to Thailand to retire actually. What happened to us in effect was that we were moved by the plight of the street animals that we came across who were in appalling condition. We decided to try and do something and since then have in effect devoted our lives to trying to help these animals. It's now six and a half years since we first started. After deciding that we wanted to help the dogs we, we looked around to see the best way of doing it and purely by coincidence, a Dutch lady who had been living in Bangkok for the previous year, she arrived at Phuket at the same time. We joined together, started Soy Dog Foundation in Phuket back in October um, in 2003. And the first year it was literally Jill, Margot and myself. And we would um, have vets volunteering from overseas would come and donate their time and expertise. We would be the nurses, the dog catchers, give the pre-meds, the post-op care. And literally we'd do this in local temples, at schools. We'd go out, bring the dogs in, sterilize them, and the same day they would be back to where they came from. That's the way we did it at the time. And we did this for yeah, the first 18 months or so, operating like this, and probably sterilized just over a thousand dogs in that time plus uh, quite a few cats as well. Phuket, Thailand's largest island, is approximately the size of Singapore and is home to a large number of dogs. There's no accurate figure for the number of dogs that are here. We estimate that there are between uh, 20, 30,000 dogs on the island. It would be fair to say there's probably around 20,000 stray dogs. Posted on the Soy Dog Foundation website is the following thoughtful statement. There is an old saying that saving the life of one animal does not change the world, but it does change the world for that animal. The saying is fitting given what the foundation does for our animal friends on Phuket. A lot of the dogs that come into us, they have horrendous injuries. Some are just skin disease through malnutrition, uh, stress-related, and it, it brings out mange and various other skin conditions. Um, others come in and they have huge open wounds where flies have laid their eggs and maggots have hatched, and these maggots start eating the dog, and you it's terrible to see. We get the vast majority of them uh, back to full health again. It's very heartbreaking to see these animals, but the pure joy when they're fully recovered is, is, is amazing to see. Um, and it never ceases to amaze me that uh, no matter how horrendous the vast majority of these dogs have been treated, how they still love human beings. On December 26, 2004, the 9.3 magnitude Indian Ocean earthquake, one of the most powerful quakes ever recorded, occurred near Banda Aceh, Sumatra, Indonesia. 
the gigantic Tembla set off the Indian Ocean tsunami that devastated many nations with coastlines on the Indian Ocean. The tsunami struck and uh, this brought uh, Pukeri and the surrounding areas very much into the focus of world attention. If you say that something good can come out of something so bad, it did have the effect of enabling us to um, apply for more grants and we were able then to expand the operation considerably. Um, we were able to start employing a full-time vet, employing dog catchers and expand the work that we did. To actually um, to have a shelter was never the intention, but what happened was after the tsunami, there were a lot of dogs abandoned at that time, uh, with literally nowhere to go. Um, we ended up with about 100 dogs at our clinic, which was totally unsuitable, so we had to look for somewhere else. Um, we ended up after uh, spending a period at uh, Government Dog Pound, where we invested money, moving to our own premises about 18 months ago. When we return, we learn about a documentary film featuring the Soy Dog Foundation. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Animal World, our co-inhabitants, here on Supreme Master Television. Established in 2003, the non-profit Soy Dog Foundation's mission is to improve the lives of homeless, abused and neglected dogs and cats on the island of Phuket. Um, one of my favourite things to do when I go to, when I'm at the shelter every day, um, I walk through the runs, there's eight large runs and I go into each one and sit down. I've got dogs crawling up my, the, my neck, on, trying to get on top of my head, they're all over me, just wanting to be loved and cuddled. And yet that, that's all they want is, yeah, they want to be fed, they want to be watered, they want somewhere dry and safe to sleep and love. And that, you know, they don't ask for a great deal. So they're just wonderful. After spaying, neutering or providing them with medical attention, the foundation returns the animals to where they were found. However, with those who were mistreated or abused, the foundation takes a different approach. Having treated a dog for and restore it to health. Following such actions, you can't put it back to where it came from. The object, obviously, is to try and rehome these dogs, and um, we have some success at that. In 2009, a documentary about the foundation, entitled Soy Dogs, premiered at Riverside Studios in London, England, and received a standing ovation from viewers. The film then debuted in Melbourne, Australia, in January 2010. The documentary has been made by um, a company, a UK company called Environmental Films. Uh, by chance, its man managing director, um, Ella Waite, uh, came over to Phuket actually to see a friend and have a holiday here. A uh, friend knew us and um, was a part time volunteer for us and asked Ella if she'd consider making maybe a short promotional film. And Ella said, sure, you know, spend maybe half a day doing that. Well, when she arrived, I met her at the airport. She came up to the shelter, and for the next two and a half weeks, she barely left the shelter. She literally was so taken by what we were doing that she filmed oh, over 30 hours of uh, film and spent many weeks, hundreds of hours, probably editing it. And in the end, produced a full-length documentary um, entirely at their expense. The object of the film is to raise awareness, hopefully people will find it uh, an inspirational film and it is being distributed uh, amongst film festivals now and, in the, uh, and to TV companies and we're very hopeful that it will spread the message. Let's hear from some of the guests who attended the film's Melbourne premiere. Okay, we've got mother and daughter here, so tell us why you've come to the Soy Dogs tonight. Oh, we love dogs, and my daughter is just told me to come. She's, um, she wants to see what it's all about, and uh, we, we both love dogs. We've got a lot of dogs at home too, and I'm from Thailand. I'm really interested to know what it's all about. So what are you going to get out of today, do you think? Well, me and my sister have always wanted to help rescue the dogs in Thailand. 
and I think it'll be good to see that people are finally starting to become aware and it'll be inspiring and uplifting. So would you like to introduce yourself? Yep, I'm Ward Young from the Coalition for the Protection of Racehorses. Well, this is a fantastic event put on by the Soy Dogs Foundation and I think it's definitely something everybody should support. What does the future hold for the Soy Dog Foundation? We're looking now to expand to other areas of Thailand and we've got people coming on board who are far more skilled than Jill and I in things like the internet and social networking, which I know nothing about at my age, I'm afraid, um, to help us achieve this. Um, it's, it is imperative to get into these other areas because people like ourselves have helped in Phuket. Other people are helping in other tourist areas like Samui, there's a group in Bangkok and there's a group in Chiang Mai. But our object is, obviously, we'll need a huge upsurge in, uh, in the size of Soy Dog and the way we move forward. And we hope this film that uh, will we'll help with that down, in so giving us far more awareness to people about what is happening here. Following the screening of Soy Dogs in Melbourne, Mr. Daly sent a kind letter of appreciation to Supreme Master Television for helping to spread the word about the plight of our homeless dog and cat friends in Thailand by covering the event. We sincerely thank the Dalis for taking time to speak with us about the Soy Dog Foundation and its benevolent work. May the Foundation soon reach its goal of touching the lives of vulnerable canines and felines all across Thailand. For more details on the Soy Dog Foundation, please visit www.soydog.org. The film Soy Dogs is available on DVD at the same website. Peaceful viewers, thank you for joining us today on Animal World, Our Co-Inhabitants. Up next is enlightening entertainment after noteworthy news. May we all do our best to help the gentle animals of our world. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash aw.